Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today I am recreating the look that I was wearing in the hair pomades testing video. It's this look right here. It's just a little more on the cooler end of the spectrum of purples and pinks. I used primarily these shadows from Sydney Grace. These are just individual shadows that you can buy. If that company name sounds familiar, it's because they're also the makers of the Enduring Love palette which is one of my favorites. So I use a couple shadows from here, but mostly these. And side note, if you don't know what this is, this is a Z palette. And this comes empty in a bunch of different sizes and colors, and you can use it to create your own eyeshadow palette, blush palette, bronzer palette, or whatever. But I will list these products as well as everything else I use in today's tutorial down in the description box below. As always, if you're new here, special welcome to you. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button. And now let's get started with the tutorial. All right, so I've already applied foundation. This is the Kat Von D Portrait Foundation in Medium 039. I always forget to mention that. And then I did apply the Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer by Elizabeth Mott. So now for the eyeshadow. So these are the individual eyeshadows that I purchased from Sydney Grace along with the Enduring Love palette. Okay, so we're gonna start off, this is Drift. I'm gonna use the Sigma E50 and just put this under my brow bone. By the way, I did also do my brows. So those are all filled in, so I don't wanna mess those up with eyeshadow here. Next, I'm gonna go in with this matte pink shade, matte rose shade, I would say, and I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 201 brush. And I do like this brush for above the crease because it's kind of a flat edge on the top. You can't really get into the crease and below very well, but it's really good for blending above the crease. Okay, so now I'm just gonna change brushes and go in with a little more of that same shade, Faithful. And I just want to work a little bit of this in the actual corner and through the center of the crease. So just going to darken that up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go down to this soft pencil shape brush and it's the 207, also by BQ Beauty. Now we're gonna go in with the darkest shade, which let me take a look, what color is that? Plummet, I love this. This is my kind of purple. It's a reddish tone purple, but you will see, I mean, it has amazing pigment. So I'm just tapping that right here at the lash line. And then with what's left on the brush, I will gently just brush that kind of up towards the crease and then towards the center of the lid. And you can see how quickly that built up color on the outer corner. These shadows are just so impressive. I'll just darken up just a little bit here along the lash line. And then we'll do a little more blending, but I'm gonna wait till we do the shimmer shades. So now we're gonna go in with these two beautiful colors. Okay, this one is called Go For It, and it is a pressed pigment. And these are, they are just automatic metallic. I mean, that was one gentle swipe in the product. So these are so soft and smooth, and really, they go on like butter. <laughs> I'm just going to place that with my finger, kind of on the center third of the lid. Okay, so I already finished up shadow on this side. So what I did is you can see that center shade, the go for it, is a little more cooler toned than the rest of the colors we have going. So what I did is I just added a little bit of this shade, which is golden strawberry. And you can see it just has a little bit of warm pink and gold. So I'm just going to tap a tiny little bit of that over the top. And this is just going to add a little bit of warmth to that purpley shade. And then go back and add just a tiny little bit of go for it. And the two combined kind of make the perfect purpley shade. And then I'm gonna go into the Enduring Love palette and use this shade right here, which is Devotion. And this is going to be my inner corner highlight. It's so pretty. 
And then I'm also going to add a tiny bit of Romeo just right on the most center point there, the inner corner. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back just with the 206 brush, no extra product. Just go through the crease here, blend that, and then I'll go back with the 201 brush and just make sure all of that is well blended. All right, before I finish up the eyes with some liner, I'm gonna quickly add something to my lips. I forgot to do this earlier. So Clarence sent me this Lip Comfort Oil. I've been testing this out. I have the shade Honey Glam. Isn't that so pretty? It's very sparkly. Normally I'm not really a lip oil person because I've found them to just be really slippery and glide right off the lips. But this one has a little more tackiness to where it actually sticks around a little longer. And it has three different plant oils in it, so really good ingredients. And of course the packaging is really pretty. It does, however, okay, you're gonna notice this, I gotta show you. So because it has this huge applicator, which I do like, but for whatever reason, they never make this top part quite big enough. So when you pull it out, you can get a little splash out of product. But once you get it out, um, it just provides the perfect amount to put on your lips. And you can see this one does have a little sparkle. Not all of them do, or shimmer, I should say. But it's a really nice texture in between a gloss and there is a little bit of kind of an oil, but not much. I feel more of a glossy texture, not sticky, but yet I have found these when I just wear them kind of throughout the day, I have found it to last pretty well on my lips. The only thing I am not crazy about is the scent on this. It has just a hint just a hint, but still there of some kind of a florally scent. So that's my only thing. There are a bunch of different um, colors and flavors, I think. There's like a mint one, so I'm assuming that one smells like mint. I don't know, but um, anyway, I've enjoyed it, and I do feel like it does a good job of nourishing the lips. I like to wear it kind of as preparation before I put lipstick on, but you can also wear it all on its own, so anyway. Now my lips feel much better, so let's finish up the eyes. All right, for a liner on the lower lash line, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Eyeliner, and we're gonna use this as a little bit of a base here. And then over the top of it, I'm going to use a little bit of this shade right here, which is the Go For It. I'm using the 204 from BK Beauty, and I'm just going to touch this kind of right over the center portion. You know me, I don't like to really go crazy down here because start getting stuff in my eyes and then my contacts don't like that. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna wipe off that brush and go in with a little bit of this deeper shade Plummet and just kind of tap that in this outer corner and connect it here. And then I'll take that brush and a little more product and just darken this outer corner a little bit more here. All right, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of black liquid liner. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero. I can't remember if I did this in that video or not, but we're gonna do it. So just a real thin line here at the front. Move my mirror closer. And then I'm just going to Give myself a little bit of a flick here. And then one thing I like to do as a final step after I've applied liquid liner is just to kind of um, soften that top edge a little bit, especially right here in the outer corner. So I'm gonna go in with this dark gray shade called Boaz, and I'm using the 204 brush and I'm just tapping this right above that line and it just helps make it not look like you have a harsh line there. And then I'm going to just gently 
brush that up into the crease slightly and then go back in with my 206 brush no extra product just blend the top edge of that all right I cleaned up under the eyes applied my favorite trio of mascara I'll leave all this down below and then I did apply a little bit of contour just to kind of chisel out the cheekbones for blush and a little bronzer I'm using the sweetie pie bronzer and I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 103 brush and you know I just love the sweetie pie bronzer because it really does kind of the job of blush and bronzer and a little bit of highlighter all in one and then to bring just a little bit of a touch of cooler pink I'm going to go into the sugar peach palette from Too Faced and use a little bit of this peach pop on the BK Beauty 104 and I'm just going to lightly brush that on the tops of the cheeks here you could also use the Thrive Cosmetics um, blush as well and for a little extra highlighter you know me I love it I'm gonna go in with this one peach pearl and just put that on the tops of the cheeks this is again kind of a cooler toned highlighter because my lip combination is pretty cool that I'm going to do and then I'm just gonna touch up the inner corner highlight that always happens after applying concealer so I'm gonna go back to Romeo and just add a touch of that there in the inner corner. Okay, so I brushed my teeth, which took off some of the lip oil, but there's still a good amount on there. Um, it's sunk in quite a bit, but the lips still feel and look moisturized. They still have a little bit of shine. I'm gonna go ahead and blot that off. And there's still a couple little bits of some sparkle left on there, but. I don't mind that. All right, now I'm gonna go around the edge of the lips with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot because my lip combination is a little bit emollient. For lip liner, I'm using the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner in the shade Bellflower. And that is a really soft lip liner. So you wanna be careful not to get too much. But then I'm just going to kind of tap the edge of that into my lips. And then the lipstick color I'm using is the Urban Decay Violet. And this is a very cool, almost purpley pink color. And then just to bring a little bit of warmth and shine, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Shimmer, High Shimmer Lip Gloss in the shade Bare Sparkle. And here's our finished look. So thank you to all of you who requested this look. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you as always so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.